Hey guys, how's it going? Umar here and today I'm gonna be opening up my foot champ and uh, my division rival rewards for you guys. Please like and subscribe to support the content and let's go. So yeah guys, I ended up with uh, gold 3. I did have some games remaining but honestly like the input delay and stuff was so horrible. I just uh, couldn't be ass after gold 3. So we get the player picks, let's go. Lewandowski, Lewandowski, Lewandowski. Let's see, let's see what we get. Who do you guys have your eyes on? Yes, let's go. Let's go, man. Lewandowski. I've been wanting to try his card. Oh, he's definitely the best player, I think, like in the team of the week. And someone I can fit. I thought Genie's card was nice too. Well, let's go, man. Ah, I don't really get who I get now. This is the guy I wanted, but uh, oh man, um, I guess we take Gundogan is the highest rated. The card actually overall isn't too bad, but the only problem I don't know why EA cheaped out on his stamina. Uh, I think even he's had that issue like in uh, previous years, or at least last year I think. But yeah. Good again is his cards you know yeah the 73 stamina is just now it's just not usable uh actually i mean he'd make a decent super sub but yeah i was actually i had my eyes on genie too genie wine album uh but then like i don't know to fit him i'd have to have some prem players and stuff i actually want to go with a bit of a different team so like uh, i think with him i'd probably have to get money or someone but yeah like I'm happy with Lewandowski. I've been wanting to try his card. I actually like Harry Kane's regular card, but uh, the inform they've literally barely upgraded. I mean, guys, honestly, go check out the card. Like compared, it's literally like I think they gave him plus one sprint speed. Like the acceleration's the same. Even overall, the card. I think only his passing has got like a decent upgrade, which is like you know not really uh, this is nothing. Yeah. Uh, so you know. That was kind of annoying. Uh, other than that, I mean, there was there was this uh, Bundesliga guys, McKenny and stuff, who have like decent looking cards. But uh, yeah, I think overall, I want to get Lewandowski a try. I mean, let me guys, let me know, guys, like if you guys have used him, how he is, things like that. Um, I mean, I the pace is a bit on the lower side, but I wonder how it plays because like I used Kane and you know with the Hunter, he was somewhat usable. And I think and this guy's got better dribbling and more speed, so you know, hopefully. Oh, uh, what is this? Uh, hotel? Wait, where is this one? Um, oh, this Tadich. Yeah, Tadich. I don't know. I think he goes for a little bit, though. I, I don't know. Here, yeah, Lecomte. Zaza. Here's some usable first on players. Let me know, guys. Are you guys doing the challenges and stuff? I've started to do some challenges, but oof, guys, it's a mission. It is not easy to do with like such crap players sometimes. Uh, yeah, I guess you know it adds something different to the game. I mean, they don't have like tournaments and things like that this year, so you know that adds a bit. Uh, Sako, I have one, but. I wonder if I can use him in my team, in my prem first owner team. But yeah, guys, uh, uh, what what icon do you guys have your eyes on? Let me know. Uh, me personally, I was looking at it. I like Balak's card. I think it's a card that's, you know, I mean, honestly, like none of the cards really, you know, stand out that much. Where you say like, oh, I can't sort of replace this with a regular gold card. Wait, let's see, guys. What are we getting? Oh, actually, I, I can use him in my Prem first owner team. Decent card. Uh, these guys. Yeah, nothing else. Boy, those fitnesses are gonna come in handy, guys. Uh, I don't know why EA. I mean, we had two, uh, two weekend leagues and fitness wasn't an issue. And now they decide to, uh, you know, fix that up. Like, the fit fitness glitch. So that's pretty annoying. I was kind of enjoying like not having to bother with fitness cards and stuff. 
and uh, i definitely think like next year they should get rid of it it also like saves money right i mean you guys play a game you make around maybe what five to seven hundred you know if you play like a whole weekend league i think what you probably walk out with our 15 20k which is not bad you know at least you know you're making some cash that way too but like if you gotta spend on fitnesses and stuff uh you know you don't walk out with too much so that's definitely a thing uh okay let's see what we get in this It's a bad tag. Uh, but yeah, guys, who do you have your eyes on? I was thinking of getting Nesta. Uh, I was also thinking about getting Hernan Crespo. But I guess Crespo's got a very, like, you know, decent overall card, good finish and stuff. And I think he's versatile enough where I could use him, like, on the wing and as a striker too. Uh, so yeah, I have my eyes on that. But I'm thinking, like, get Nesta now and then... Uh, maybe going for someone else i mean the rio card looks nice but you know uh, i can't wait <laughs> i can't wait for the next best so you know i kind of want someone now um yeah other than that is i mean i saw ian wright's card what is it dude what is it is it chinese i'm not sure oh so info i don't think it goes for much yeah <laughs> what kind of info is this he literally has no standout stats. His best stat is what, uh, his physicality. You, Renato Augusto. I guess I could use him for my. No, actually, I don't. Uh, I don't need a Saudi league, so yeah, just, uh, don't need that. Yeah. Quick sell, no surprise. But yeah, guys. So yeah, I don't know. I was thinking like uh, probably getting Nesta. So you know, I sort of have someone that you know I can always use in my defense, and you know I don't have to worry about Kevin. So uh, oh, we get a hawk, guys. What is up with the hunters and shadows? It is absolutely impossible. I was like, uh, I was trying to get a hunter for like I tried for a very long time. I still can't get it. I don't know, I think you need to do something about it. What do you guys think? You guys think they should like uh, increase like the price thing for it? Like the price bracket? I think because that could be an absolute madness, you know? Because uh, if they uh, again nothing, Rukani. I think they could use Rukani in Serie A first on our team. Uh, oh, and a Sen Ho, okay. Uh, but yeah, guys, it's, it's absolutely like, you know, ridiculous. <laughs> you can't get them. Uh, I was thinking if they should do the uh, price range increase but I don't know that just might be like too annoying because like let's say because knowing this year how important pace is I could see Hunter going up to like 10k and then like you know when you when you put him on a player and then you sell him the premium thing, I think that could like you know affect the market quite a bit I think maybe they should just increase like the like how often you get Hunters things like that um, and yeah guys that's it for the pack openings guys uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the packs I hope you guys pack some good players too uh, and yeah guys let me know what other kind of content you'd like to see from me uh, please like and subscribe and I'll see y'all soon